Food Saver has been around since 1984, so they've been around for 26 years. They've got their machines down pat, and that's the type of company that I like to look for. <clears throat> now, you get to decide on how big of a bag you want to do. Okay. Does it matter? Now, I have the Food Saver model FM5200. It's a two-in-one automatic vacuum sealer machine with the express bags. It also has the attachment for the jars. Now, so, you, you ask me, how do I store my rice? What's the best way to store rice? I bought a 25-pound bag. Do I just take and put it in a bucket in a five-gallon Mylar bag and put oxygen absorbers in there? I'm going to tell you why I don't do that. Uh, two up. cups, four cups. You can make the bag as big as you want to make it, and you can put as much rice in there as need be. Now, let's break something down for you. So if you take white rice, and you take a 20-pound bag of white rice, you get 202 servings out of that 20-pound bag. That's a quarter cup of dry per person, okay? And that breaks down to a little over four cents per serving. It's like 4.2 two cents per serving okay and that makes it one of the most cheapest staples that you could put up for an emergency situation or your long-term food store you already went to the store you got yourself a 25 pound bag of rice now what the heck do i do with it get you a vacuum sealer no you take your vacuum sealer no and with my family you can decide exactly how big of a bag you want to make you know, got a large family, make it a large bag. Got a small family, make a small bag. So, one cup of rice is four servings at a quarter of cup. This should feed four people. All right, there's four servings in there. It you, doesn't need to be a food grade bucket. And you need a lid puller, a dollar ninety nine. Because the screw on lids, they're gonna nail you for like between seven and ten bucks for the screw on lid, not just counting the bucket. So it's a waste to say things got really bad and the neighborhood went to hell real quick. Uh, if push come to shove and if you did get into a barter situation, um, you wanna go and you might even wanna barter for some butter or something or a flour and you can give like one cup of rice. Or you have smaller packs or larger packs instead of trying to barter your whole 25 pounds of rice or flour, sugar. And you just open it up, you reach in, grab one out and go. Now there's a lot of hikers out there. Now there's a lot of hikers that like to ultra light hike. But a so one cup of rice is 7.6 ounces. So if Okay, now I want to show you a quick trick on what I do and I use clean wrap. So you take your counter, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to process my chicken and get it ready to vacuum pack. Put that down there. So now you have a nice surface here that helps protect your surface below. Like I said, I just use regular old clean wrap. So as you can see now, I've got my chicken breast all ready to go. I've got 16 breasts in here. I pulled uh, three out for dinner tonight. Um, and now we're going to start measuring our bags and get them ready for vacuum sealing. Here, as you can see, we have finished vacuum packing all 17 packs all right in today's video ladies and gentlemen you're going to want to go get these items so that you can do this trick with your vacuum sealer you need lunch bags you need a two cup measuring cup you need a plastic bucket with a lid you need a vacuum sealer you need vacuum seal bags and a sharpie and the products that you can't vacuum seal without doing this method Stick around, folks. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, folks. So, when you get the... When you get your bag out, take and open up your bag. Now, I'm going to do 
the whole thing of salt. It's one pound of salt. As you can see here, it's just one pound of iodized salt. I'm going to pour it right in my bag. Now you could break this up if you would like. You could do a uh, half a pound and a half a pound. All right, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top here, folks. I'm going to fold this top over right here. All right. You don't want to fold it way down here. You want to have room for the product to spread out a little bit. And you'll see why in just a second. Egg. Now you can write with your Sharpie. You can write on here or you can write on here. Once you got that on there, your vacuum sealed bags, all right, you're going to have this smooth side that I just wrote on, and you're going to have this rough side. The rough side goes down when you put it inside of your container. So if you always remember to write on the, the nice smooth side, just remember it needs to face you when you put it into your vacuum sealer. Now you take your salt. Place our salt in here, just like so. And now, what I want to do is try to hold this right here and let the salt spread out just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, we're going to come up, insert it into your vacuum sealer. Make sure it's on the dry setting because mine has a dry and a moist. Make sure it's on dry setting. And once you get it to where it needs to be, hit the button. Your little light here shows it's sealing. You'll hear it release here in a second. There it goes. And now we have a perfectly good seal. We're going to do the sugar. Now, the sugar, I think I'm going to do maybe three cups in each bag. This is a And voila, folks, we've done salt, we've done sugar, we have done flour, as soon as it releases. Second. Now, one thing I want to point out when I'm writing on my bags, you want to make sure that you get a Sharpie. Because this way here, it doesn't come off in the freezer. If it gets wet, it doesn't come off. Or anything like that so one of these is very critical what you're doing when you're freezing your meats and stuff and put them in the fridge refrigerator or the freezer so you can see where it says dry and moist so when you're doing anything moist chicken meat anything like that always hit that first okay and then this is for your accessories and your your marinades over here on this side here which it comes with oh now so, one thing you want to remember First thing is, turn the power off. No power, all right? Second thing, unplug from the wall. Now, if you flip this up, you see this right here? You wanna take this out and you see all that little, I don't know if you guys can see down in there. You can see a little moisture, okay? You wanna take that out, take it over, put it in your sink and wash that with soap and water especially when you're doing chicken. Sometimes if you do anything wet, you'll notice that the water gets down in here, uh, which this is all dry, so everything works just fine. And that is how you use your vacuum sealer. And make sure you clean it afterwards. I've been using Food Saver for all my different dry goods, my meats and everything else, and never had a problem. And the thing works great all the time. Now